Hello everyone, I wanted to take just a few minutes and uh, discuss uh, Microsoft Project uh, specifically uh, using it or downloading it and using it for this class. Uh, normally Microsoft Project is not a free application so instead of burdening you with uh, downloading or purchasing it uh, the school has made it available to you through Citrix. So uh, Citrix is a application that allows for remote access and uh, to get access to it you first have to download something first and then once you have access to Citrix you will have access to Microsoft Project and the version currently is 2016 so to do all that we inside our classroom we go to path and from there we go to course materials and when that expands go to Microsoft Project the instructions here are uh, self-explanatory again it says that we need a Microsoft uh, Project and to access it you have to have Citrix installed so the first step is we need to install Citrix and the PDF that comes with it has this instruction so it says first go to this so let's go ahead and go to that so that takes us to this page and as you can see here the again it kind of detected that I am on uh, uh, Windows application or Microsoft Windows so it says download for Windows go ahead and click on that and basically follow the instructions to download it so we'll click on this now again depending on which uh, browser you're using I'm using Firefox so this uh, window pops up click on save file it's gonna start downloading it for me up here And once it's complete downloading, I'm going to click on this and then click on the file that was downloaded. Click on start. Accept the license agreement. Click on next. This dialog box basically is for app protection and uh, I suggest that you do uh, enable it, which adds a, an extra level of protection for you. Click on install. Okay, and once it's done installing, you should uh, receive this uh, dialog box and basically it says you could either just finish or add account. Now, according to the PDF, it says uh, we need to enter this address uh, to access uh, the applications for this class, which is https colon slash slash myapps.gcu.edu. So we can go ahead and add this account. And https colon myapps.gecu.edu and I'll say don't show this so I'm actually sign in click add all right so my username is just the same as my class login so it's first name dot last name and I think we don't need the ending part the at gcu.edu and then my password and then click on sign in All right, and this pops up, which is GCU store, hit select. And now the Citric workspace tries to open. And it brings you to this page. This is the home page. And again, it just says that you don't have any favorite apps. It doesn't mean that you don't have any apps. Uh, but to get started, go to the apps, uh, which is up here. Click on that. So once you click on the apps icon, you get to see the apps that are available for you. For example, based on my sign in, I have access to Project 2016 and other statistics uh, application as well. 
So you click on Microsoft uh, Project 2016 and eventually it's going to open for you. Here we go, open. Now remember, you are opening Microsoft Project 2016 uh, through Citrix, which again is uh, some sort of a remote connection on someone else's server, which is the university server. So this is not Microsoft Project on your computer. And I'm bringing this up because uh, many times people try to save the project once they make changes to it, and then they come back to it and they can't find it because they think that they saved it on their computer. But uh, there is a way to save it local on your computer, and there is the default way, which is saving it on the server, which we don't want to do that. So, for example, I'm just going to open up a blank project. And I'm just going to you know, make anything, and then I'm going to save it. So, uh, this is, again, a typical Microsoft project application. You have the same ribbon, and you have, you know, probably menus that you're familiar with. And one of them is the file. So, if you click on File and then you go to save as. This is where people sometimes get confused. By default, it's gonna save to the cloud, you know, somewhere on the server that's running the Microsoft Project application. We wanna save it on our computer. So to save it to your own computer, go down to browse, click on it, and then you're presented with this save as window. Now, there are a lot of options here on the left. So the correct option to go to is the local disk and uh, it's the C drive, but just make sure that it says this is your laptop's or your computer's name. That's the key. So you wanna make sure that you're saving it to local disk, uh, whatever drive that you typically save on your computer, but just make sure that it has the computer name uh, next to it. So click on that, and then this is your computer uh, folder structure. Then, you know, choose any folder you wanna to save to, and then that's how you would save it locally. So again, just make sure that you're saving it to the local computer name, which is your computer name, and not anywhere else. Because if you do that, you're not going to have access to it once you come back to it the second time. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. So another way to get to Project 2016 is also from the browser. So I'm going to go to my Firefox, which is my browser that I use. So I'm going to come up here and then type HTTPS colon slash slash my apps.gcu.edu I hit enter and this should give me a login screen for uh, the Citrix interface okay so again for the username it's the first name dot last name and then the password which again is the same password you use for your uh, loud cloud hit enter to log in and then it's going to take me right to the uh, Citrix uh, application and again this is my home uh, screen. I don't have anything uh, as my favorite, but if I click on apps, it takes me exactly to what I used to see when I logged into the uh, workspace. So again, this is a web interface to my Citrix uh, workspace, or you can also use this interface, which is the Citrix workspace, but it's the application installed on your computer. Okay, and both of these, the workspace as well as this, uh, browser interface, they both give you access to Project 2016. Okay, which again is not installed locally on your computer. Project 2016 is installed on the uh, university servers, but through Citrix, we gain access to using Microsoft Project 2016, so you don't have to purchase it or install it on your own computer. But just again, a word to the wise, when you come to saving it, please follow the steps I just shared with you a few moments ago. Now, if for whatever reason you have any technical issues with getting Citrix to work, or you log into Citrix but you don't find Microsoft Project as one of the applications that's readily available for you, then please do reach out to the school's technical support team and they will be able to help you resolve this issue. So to wrap up what we just covered in this video, I explained that in order to use Microsoft Project, which is the main application required to do our work for this class, we first need to install Citrix. This is a remote access application to allow us to access university servers, which then give us access to a free version of Microsoft Project. And once we installed Citrix, we can use the Citrix workspace on our computer to access Microsoft Project. We also learned that we can access Citrix through a web interface. So both options give us access to Microsoft Project, and it's really up to you to use the one that you're more comfortable with. 
So that's basically what I wanted to cover for this video. If you have any questions, please do let me know. And I'll be seeing you in class. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.